students welcome back to the class in previous class we have learned about let's play and uh, oh, how many types in game there are two types in games like indoor game and outdoor game and in this class i am going to teach you lesson unit 9 my surrounding my surrounding that means it plays game in you around it is called surrounding first i will do the new ones from this poem today Dina, bright Prakashamana, shine Pade, spoil Harumadu, sway Moon, Chanesu, Beleyudu Surrounding that means it plays very view around it is called surrounding Sutta Muttalu Ok dear student, this is a beautiful poem about nature What will happen in our surroundings? You will see in this poem and also if the sun shine brightly what will happen if the sun don't shine brightly what will happen yes we will learn from this poem let's see the poem take up page number 95 unit 9 my surrounding good morning mr sun how are you today will you shine bright and strong will the rain spoil our play your sun beams through my window Gently take me up as I get ready for school and drink away from a cup. I love you, Mr. Sun, for your brightness of the day. Making everything so colorful and make the trees to sway. Sway that means it is nothing but move. Move that means chalis move. The trees sway that means uh, the trees can't move. It's only grow. So, it is the thing get up very good. Ok, dear student, let us start the poem. You will understand this poem. Good morning, Mr. Sun. How are you today? Here, the child wish to sun. How she is wish to sun? Yes, she wish to sun like good morning, Mr. Sun. Will you shine bright and strong? She asked question. She asked the question to sun. Will you shine bright and strong? Yes. Will the rain spoil our play? If the sun don't shine bright and strong, the rain will spoil our play. Dear student, if you play outside, the rain is rain heavy. What will happen? Yes, the rain spoil our play. Yes, it creates bad, badness and you will sad. So dear student, here also the child refers to sun. How did the child request to sun? Yes, she requests to sun like will you shine bright and strong. Even more bright, but the strong or even in a number two, that means it will give more light, it will give more energy. Will you shine bright and strong today? If you don't shine bright and strong, what will happen? Yes, the rain, the rain will come, the rain will spoil our play. We can't play outside, we can't go outside because it rains heavily. So dear student, will you shine bright and strong today? The child asks question to sun. Will the rain spoil our play? Your sun means throw my window. Yes, at the morning when the sun rises in the east, what happens? When the sun sets in west, what happens? Yes, see here student, the sun shines at bright and strong at east. The sun will throw my window. The sun shines come to his window throw. Come to his room through window. It is very bright and strong. So gently make me up. Who, who wake up? The child wake up because of sun rises. The sun rises came to his room with the window. So the sun wake up. As I get ready for school, when we get up early, it's it's will help to ready for school very early. It's will help to for ready uh, ready to school for very early and fast. So dear student, here also the child thanks to sun. Your, uh, you will sets in east. Your sun means come to my window. Uh, it helps to wake up early and I will get ready for school very firstly and drink milk from a cup. I drink milk from a cup. I love you Mr. Sun for 
wake up the mother trying to wake up her child but the mother but the son don't wake up he like to sleep more so it dark outside when you sleep mommy you are getting late for school please get up from the bed get ready yes the mother want to him it's already 6:15 you will late for school please get up very costly so it dark outside mommy again the same dialogue is repeated here dark outside mommy let me sleep mommy mother yes you know it's cloudy so it's dark outside but look at the clock it's already 6:15 yes it's a dark outside because the sun don't shine bright and strong even 6:15 already the clock shows 6:15 the sun don't shine bright and strong so it's very cloudy so it's dark outside but look at the time what time yes it's already 6:15 Son, go then, Nadi. Get up, mom. Yes, the child went. Uh, saw the clock. Hurry up. We are having a fun. Get more sleep. I will brush my teeth, have a bath, and get ready to go to school. See what will happen if yes, dear student. See first one. All the buses are stopped for a day. What will happen? You match to be the clues. And here they give some of the clues, and here they give some of the sentences. So read the first sentence. All the buses are stopped for a day. What will happen if all buses are stopped? What will happen? Yes, see the clues. I can't travel to far away places. I can't far away. Sorry, I can't travel to far away places if the buses are stopped a day. I can't travel to a place. So you will match with fourth one. Second one, it rains heavily. What will happen? We can't go anywhere. It's, it will rain very heavily in outside. What will happen? We can't go anywhere. You will match with option two. Third one, all the hospitals are closed. Yes. What will happen if all There is no rain. There is no rain. What happens? Farmer will be in trouble. Yes, dear student. How much sun is more important in our life? Like rain is also important in our life. Okay. Yes, rain and sun both are important in our daily life. We need a uh, sunshine, uh, sun rays also, and we need. rain also it's most important rain helps to grow crops for the farmers so dear students there is no rain what will happen yes the farmers will be in trouble next one there are no holidays if there is no any holiday yes what happens yes i can't play i can't play now we can we go well we can't play Words. I already taught it. 
okay dear friends so we already learned about this topic in grammar class use of is or am we have learned about this topic so you recall it she is dash she is dash they give one example here she is she it is singular so we use is next one we are we it is plural now so so we are we are okay third one he he it is singular so we use is next one i i am next one they If subject is singular, if subject is singular, we use is. If subject is a subject is plural, we use are. If they mention subject is I, so am. We use am. Am always used to be I. It is used in present tense only. You see words in your own sentence. She is a girl. Yes, she is a girl. We are students. How to make sentence? We are student. He is a boy. I am. I am a good girl. I am a good girl. They are teachers. They are teachers. And they are singers. He is a tall boy. And she is a nice girl. She is a beautiful girl. Boys are dancing. Boys are playing. Also right. Girls are playing. Girls are writing. Girls are singing. I am. I am eating. I am drinking. I am running. Ah, uh, we are dancing. We are playing. He is sleeping. Next one. She is writing. This one is very easy. If subject is singular, you use is. If subject is plural, we use are. If the subject I, so you will use am. Am it is always used with I. Okay. With the help of this, you can do these words. Okay, dear student. Next one, complete the words. First one, quarrel. S Q Q I R R E. Second one, honey bee. H O N E Y B E double E. Honey bee. Next one, earth. E A R T H. Next one, children. C H I L 